Uh, hi everyone, it's me again. It's just uh, reviewing the the uh, printer bot metal 3D printer pre-assembled. It's uh, about four hours after I started and I haven't really been pushed on that too hard, but a few bumps with the software trying to get everything rolling. But this is the first successful print. It's a dual tone whistle. I haven't tried it out yet. Just literally just finished right now. See if I can get it off the bed. Um, it's always tough getting fresh prints off the bed, so I might have to get a different type of knife. But uh, it, it, it actually it came out very nice. Let's see how well we can get close to that. Very solid layers. Uh, the first layer was a little bumpy. Still working on a few things there. But what I did notice is that it's got very good sides. That means the, the Z rods are very well aligned. And it, it, it bridges really well. So this is all hollow on the inside. And when it went across, especially right up over here where it had to go all the way across that way, yeah, the bridging was absolutely really good. And a large part of that is because inside the fan, uh, underneath the extruder, there's actually a fan that blows while on the print as well. So it, so I give it points for bridging and uh, solid layers. Uh, I will take points away on my little review basically because there's no software that uh, they endorse wholeheartedly. You can't go to their website and just download a package and get started with their settings. You actually have to fiddle with it and jump between printers and figure out which one they're trying to tell you to use, which settings. So right now I'm actually trying to reverse engineer <laughs> their slicer settings. I don't know if you can see that yet. Yeah, there's slicer settings in there because they don't tell you straight out, use these settings. And they test all these before they send them out, so I don't understand. All right, well, that's it. I'll keep reviewing this. I'll let you guys know how it works out. Thanks. See ya.